Hi everyone. In this video, we'll learn about ARIMA model tuning. ARIMA model is one of the very widely used baseline in forecasting whenever we are developing complex forecasting time series models. However, this model has internal different components which require manual tuning. If user is not careful about tuning these components, our model will occasionally underperform. These components are, for example, autoregressor integrated and moving averages components, which are uh, mathematically uh, expressed as in this expression. Uh, these components in the mathematical uh, form finally turn out to be three different uh, variables, P, D, and Q, which we define through ARIMA libraries. P, D, and Q kind of refer to the order of autoregression, degree of differencing, and order of moving average. An optimal value of P, D, and Q helps the models to learn the time series very well. In this notebook, I'll show you how you can learn this time series from P, D, and Q ranges automatically where P, D, and Q values will vary very widely. Uh, to use a simple ARIMA model, we can use that models library. And user has to open input this P, D, and Q. One of the ways that you can experiment with different values and select the best. Today, I'll show you an automatic uh, machine learning approach to do it. We'll work on a very simple sample data set, which is of air passengers. This is a toy data set, uh, simple and small enough to play with many different ideas. Let us load this data set. This data set has around 144 different rows. Overall, there is a uh, month and passengers which are kind of traveling. And uh, if we plot this data set, we'll see what internally it is there. To make uh, this notebook work, you might have to install our Mango library, which we will use today. Uh, plotting this data set, we'll see that actually the trend, the number of passengers is increasing throughout different months. Uh, there are like 144 values. The data set has a seasonality as well and uh, upward trend as well. It's a very uh, a nice data set for our model. We are going to use ARIMA for stat models library, which you can install using pip install easily in the notebook. I will share the link for this notebook in the video description. Now we have to define the ARIMA objective function, which we want to optimize. This objective function will calculate some form of loss in our predictions. In this way, uh, based on different losses, which we'll calculate, we'll try to find what is the best P, D, and Q values. Uh, Mango library, has a syntax in which this objective function can be defined easily. It passes in an argument list, which is kind of different parameters which it wants to try. For each of these parameters, we train a model, calculate the mean square error. In case the model training fails, for example, there are many different PDK values where we cannot train a model uh, feasibly. Uh, for that cases, we return a high error. And finally, for these values, uh, the model kind of either get a high error or some mean square error which the model is calculated based on its training. As you see, P, D, and Q values have defined extremely large from zero to 30. Actually, the values may lie somewhere in between. And we are also saying it to capture trends, uh, seasonality in different way. This parameter space is the one which we want our model to search. And as you see, in reality, the number of parameters here are 30 multiplied by 30, multiplied by 30, multiplied by four. So this range is quite large, large uh, kind of you know, close to 100,000. So that's kind of variable ranges. We are only going to use some 100 iterations. The exact calculation we can do it here if you are interested to find actually the size of this search space. Uh, these are, this, this is the size of the search space if you have to assume the inter-range variations and we'll do this using say a grid search value. So it's kind of around 100,000, but we are only giving it 100 iterations to calculate this. Uh, this dictionary is what controls mango iterations. The data which we are going to use to train in the passengers, parameter space which are already defined. ARIMA objective function is the one which you are going to use. Uh, running this tuner takes around a few minutes. Uh, in this case, it took around 10 minutes to run 100 iterations because we were training 100 different uh, models. Uh, I have already successfully run this in the notebook. As you can see here, and it uh, kind of finds the best loss, best mean square error, and also gave us the best values of these different parameters. It is to note that this range was quite big, like we saw here. And also the ARIMA objective function as such uh, is very dumb. It just takes in the parameter, trains the values, and return back the error. All the intelligence is coming from this mango tuner and scheduler. 
mango tuner is the one which kind of tries to minimize or maximize our objective function. In this case, it was a loss. We are trying to minimize the loss. Finally, we can actually plot the best model, what we learned. And you'll see here, if you train the best model on the parameters which we just did, our model will very well uh, kind of fit the trend which we are after. Let us give it some time to train the best model and we'll see uh, what the trends look like. Uh, I'm, I've also written a plot function, which you see here, which again, trains the model using the best values, which I'm passing in. And these best values are coming from the result parameters, which you see here. Finally, the model is trained and it very nicely fits these trends and this even try new variations in the pattern. Uh, I'll share the link to this video and you can all play it at your end to uh, tune your ADEMA models on your own data sets.